Well, good morning, everyone. This is Mitchell Mander here, and welcome to the first of three uploads today. In the first video that we are starting off with today is the latest episode of Boruto, which is episode 129. And I have to say, this is definitely one of my favorite episodes of Boruto, and not just because of nostalgia, just because of how this whole episode was handled. It was handled beautifully. And I will say, I was, I've been looking forward to this arc for a little while now. And one of the things I was interested to see with this episode was how the interactions would play out between young Naruto and young Bor or, you know, and Boruto. And basically, I was wondering if maybe they would play some of the old OSTs, and I was not disappointed. <laughs> I got super excited when I heard some of them. And with Rock Lee showing up next week, if they play his theme, and even his battle theme, which is the, I believe, Beautiful Green Beast, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm <laughs> I will lose my mind if they play that, just saying. But, anyways, on to the episode. Um, the episode starts off with, uh, you know, it kind of leaves off from what last week's episode was, where Boruto and Sasuke realize that they're in the past. And that's when the turtle, uh, Karatsuki, basically starts talking to them. It mentions a temporary transfer. And it turns out that Urashiki was actually going back in time to a point when Naruto was really young. And, you know, couldn't defend himself, so he would extract the Nine Tails Chakra then, which would greatly affect the future. That would actually greatly affect a lot of things. Especially if, you know, especially with the fight with Kaguya, you know, with the Fourth Shinobi War, it would affect so many things and Boruto wouldn't exist. <laughs> so, yeah, that would have some, you know, crazy implications for the future if Urashiki was able to pull this off. But because they knocked him off, course it looks like Urashiki's going to be showing up in a couple days so I'm very interested to see if it's you know so not just Sasuke and Boruto facing off against Urashiki but maybe like young Naruto and Jiraiya and my goodness I will lose it if I see Jiraiya in action again that would be fantastic but anyways uh, Kurosuke basically tells them that they need to be careful in the past because if they interact with somebody that they know in the future it could have a lot of you know, implications and changes to, or potential changes to the future. <laughs> and of course, Boruto and Sasuke go under, you know, they go under disguise, which it looks like their outfits, their costumes, are references to the Back to the Future because Boruto looks a lot like Marty McFly, and Sasuke kind of looks like the professor from the third Back to the Future movie when they went to the Wild West. So that was definitely interesting to see. <laughs> of course, uh, my favorite, mo my favorite moments in this episode were definitely the interactions, like running into Sakura first, and like out of everybody, Boruto goes to say something, Sasuke grabs him, is like, nope, you're not messing with her. <laughs> but um, right after that, Boruto ends up running into young Naruto, which of course Sasuke's over there just face palming, like, dang it, we screwed up. <laughs> but Naruto is running away because Jiraiya is up to his old antics and he's peeping on women <laughs> I love this moment because uh, Naruto takes off <laughs> I, I also like the moment too because uh, <laughs> Boruto accidentally called Naruto dad and he's just like what what are you talking about I'm not your dad <laughs> but anyways uh, Jirai is running away and he gives these bin his binoculars to Boruto basically passing on the blame to him which <laughs> I laughed when I saw that that was, <laughs> that was hilarious but uh, Tsunade shows up and punishes Naruto and Jiraiya, though I don't think Naruto deserved it. I think it was mainly Jiraiya, but he gets punished nonetheless. And that's when Sasuke basically tells them that they're actually traveling performers <laughs> in order to get away from being actual ninja and be under disguise. He uses a ball trick to basically kind of trick them into thinking that they're performers. <laughs> but um, I like this moment too because uh, Boruto shows off his sexy jutsu to Naruto <laughs> and. <laughs> And it definitely impresses uh, Jiraiya, you know, considering how he was impressed with Naruto's sexy jutsu back in the day, this makes sense, but I think that was the, f that, I believe that's the first time we've seen Boruto's sexy jutsu, so that was a funny moment. Um, but anyways, we find out from Tsunade that what we can infer is that uh, we're actually, we went back to the point where Tsunade's the fifth Hokage, and Sasuke took off he left the village, so we are actually <laughs> right at the start of the Sasuke retrieval arc, which I was not expecting this. I figured we would be starting in between the time when Tsunade was, you know, just got to the village and before the Sasuke retrieval arc, 
So this is interesting. It's going to definitely lead to some interesting moments with Boruto seeing, you know, what Sasuke did or how he, the fashion of when he left the village and lost his way. I'm very interested to see, you know, Bor Boruto learning about this and, you know, adult Sasuke telling him about this. So I'm actually really hyped for the next few episodes. But anyways, uh, back to this episode, because Sasuke left the village, you know, you can tell that, you know, young Naruto was definitely affected by this, judging by his face. But because Sasuke left the village, the village is under, is basically under tight security. And as a result, Tsunade assigns Jiraiya and Naruto to watch Boruto and adult Sasuke. Though, shortly afterwards, uh, <laughs> Jiraiya runs off. And I think the one thing I find funny is that Boruto has been trying to look into Jiraiya and kind of look up to him. Like, how, why his father, you know, his, why, why he was his father's master. What type of person he was. And seeing him here, it's just funny because he's just like... Yep, is this really a legendary signing? He's just a perverted old man. So he's I like how uh, Borto, you know, thinks of Jiraiya just like his father did back when he first met him. So I like that moment. But Jiraiya takes off and Sakura shows back up and Sasuke jumps on out of there because Sakura means a lot to him and he doesn't want to basically mess with the future. So he bounces out of there. <laughs> but Sakura shows up and. I like how Boruto realizes uh, that Sakura, young young Sakura, is a lot like Sarada is. Though I'd say that Sakura is more violent than Sarada, but I did like that moment. But for me, the best moment in the entire episode is when Naruto took Boruto back to his old place and basically was asking him questions because Boruto, or excuse me, Naruto has no family of his own because his father and mother died. So he's on his own. And Boruto seeing this firsthand that Naruto was all alone. And I just like how, you know, Naruto was asking Boruto about his family, you know, just to get, you know, because, you know, he mentioned earlier on that he was talking about his father. So he's just wondering how his father's like. And I liked how Boruto talked about Naruto and kind of how he's <laughs> completely useless because he comes home tired and he's busy all the time. But he does show that, you know, he does respect his father. And I just I just thought this was a fantastic moment. And I teared up a little bit, honestly, because of how well done this moment was. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> definitely one of the highlights from this episode and one of the best moments in all of Boruto. I know we've had some good moments, especially during episode 65 when Boruto was asking his dad to, you know, tell him more about his past. But seeing this up front... You know, this, you know, Borto's seeing, you know, another side of his father that he never would have been able to see before. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see, you know, when he goes back to the future, how he treats his father going forward. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for this episode. I thought this was a fantastic episode. Definitely one of the best episodes of Borto. And definitely, you know, this is leading to leading up to be a great arc. And probably, arguably, maybe even the best arc of Borto so far. So anyways, guys, uh, what'd you all think out there? Did you like this episode? Did you like that the old OSTs were playing? Could you <laughs> leave your thoughts in the comment section down below? I'm very interested to see what you all think out there about this episode and kind of what you thought of it. So, yeah. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you when <laughs> next when Borto Chapter 39 comes out. So... I will talk to you all later.